I think the thing um, about Victoria in terms of the dynamic of the group is definitely because she's James's mate, there's a sense of always got his back, you know, and, um, you know, when James is tracking something, obviously I'm like the right hand man, you know, helping him to track on the hunt. But I don't think that any of that is remotely subservient. I think this is clearly a woman or vampire who chooses to do that, knowing that at any minute, should she choose something else, that's what she'll do. I think the, the thing that appeals to me most about being a vampire is this notion that it represents everything we think we want. It's the ultimate careful what you wish for because with it comes this amazing power and eternal life. But then what I always find sort of the most poetic is that what you get, what gets traded is that everything that had value then has no value. Time doesn't matter. The fragility of your life doesn't matter. So things like somehow being alive isn't somehow your existence is not as important. I get to do so many stunts. So I got to do wire work. I got to ride the magic carpet, which is this crazy thing that makes you look like you're walking at 30 miles an hour, which is just everything you ever knew about gravity goes out the window with this thing. Um, so yeah, lots of stunts, lots of action sequences. You know, it's actually, it's been really, really cool. It's not enough for any of us that this is just, you know, a fun, good time, vampire romp love story. That's not enough. We want it to be real. We want there to be real relationships here. We want them to play. And so that's what we're all working for.